Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. So today we are going to start a new series, okay, regarding the development of framework using Selenium. Okay, this is the very first tutorial or introduction of the Selenium framework. Okay, and we'll be talking about what is framework, why we need that, and what are the features it can provide us, how it can make our life easier. Because nowadays everybody is talking about framework development, framework, right? So what is it? So we'll quickly start what about what is framework, why framework is required, and how it makes our life easy. Okay, why or why it is so much important. So what is framework basically? It is a facility or set of architecture or tools or set of libraries or codes okay which makes our life easy suppose you are performing some operation in your daily life if you get some tool to operate the operation what you are doing so it makes your life easy you don't need to put that much of effort right like the same thing is for framework as well framework provides you the reusability maintainability scalability understandability and it provides multiple feature or of architecture which can handle everything and anything possible okay so we'll discuss each and everything quickly okay and let's see so let's first discuss with the reusability what does it mean so basically let's say you have a framework or set of a set of libraries okay which can be reused for multiple application suppose you are working with automation UI automation, right? You have a framework in place. You are having two applications coming in. You have to automate them. You can use the same basic boilerplate or architecture, or and you can plug in and play and automate the application. So basically, you can reuse your existing framework. You might need to enhance it depending on the application's need, but you can reuse at least some part of it, a good amount of part of it, right? Okay. Let's say you are in application. You already are in application. You are utilizing some framework or you are developing some framework, right? Now you have it in some piece of utilities or code base, right? The same code base you are performing the actions with, right? Let's say you are performing some wave application, automation on wave application, right? You are performing same repetitive tasks. You don't need to have the same code write to write again and again. You just call the utility it will serve the purpose for you okay suppose again another feature suppose your new feature comes into the play in the picture okay what you are doing you just concentrating on your application new feature you are just calling the existing because i mentioned right framework should have all the necessary tools technology and the utilities libraries intact so that you can reuse it right suppose in a new new feature comes into the application okay you need to code for it you need to test it right you need to write script for it you just call the functionality or the library or methods of the framework okay so that needs less coding you are only concentrating on the application behavior okay and less testing is also required because the amount of code or libraries what is there with your framework is already tested you don't have to test it that part right now what is maintainability okay let's say you were writing some script okay and due to some reason either it might be network issue either it must be ui changes or api changes whatever it might be right your script gets failed or there is a potential bug in the system application your code gets broken some you're getting some bug so you have to put less effort to understand and fix the bug by analyzing it how there are different logging stuff different approaches reporting logging of the framework that we can use to identify bugs quickly analyze it quickly and fix it very fast because there are different segregations that are there or that should be there in as a part of the framework okay which helps you to achieve your automation in a very properly maintainable state right so you have another thing suppose let's say there is a new feature 
or new thing or new tool is required for your application to be automated a framework should have a support to incorporate or enhance your new tool integration or feature integration very quickly it should support in a very proactive manner it should be having the uh, flexibility to support new integration of tool new feature or new enhancement of libraries as well so that's the framework it is so whatever new thing you are implementing in the framework development part it should not breaks the existing existing framework libraries right so that's why it is maintainable it should be maintained basically now what is scalability suppose you are uh, right you have a framework that supports an application okay tomorrow some new application comes up or your application gets bigger day by day it should be able to you know support it it should be scalable okay it should be able to handle or should be able, it should be allowing new technologies or new feature or tools to be incorporated with the existing framework okay it should be supported by multiple projects as well that's what it is scalable because scale it up right understandability suppose i am i don't have any knowledge of the framework development right a framework should give me a way so that i can understand it very quickly and should be able to write you know quicker code utilizing our utilities okay or this is one aspect second thing suppose i have to en enhance my framework or my uh, automation scripting okay it should be give it should be able to give me the easiness to enhance it it should not be so rigid okay and people should be very easily understand should be able to very easily understand and implement the same so that's all from this introduction section guys okay next video i am going to talk about what are the different type of framework that we can implement or use along with selenium okay there are different type of framework that we can use or implement okay depending on the need so that's all from this section guys if you do have any suggestion comments question please put them in the comment box i'll be happy to help and if you do like my video please subscribe to my channel like and share okay thank you and have a nice day